Hello and welcome back to our Wednesday client photography tips. I am Michelle Horn and this is Brandon Horn and together we're the Horn Photography and Design Team. We're super excited that you guys can join us and just as a little reminder you can find all of these uh, tips on either our YouTube channel or on our blog and if you'd like to see our actual film work then you'll check that out on our Vimeo channel. All three channels can be accessed by going to our handle which is at HornPD. Feel free to jump on all of those social media platforms and check out our work. And then specifically, like I said, the tips will be found on both our YouTube and our blog. So let's get right into this week's tip. Oh, you got stars, stars in your eyes. I know it from the way you make me feel so alive. Like I'm up, up, up on a mountainside, gazing at the night sky, but I'm just looking at the stars. This week's tip is for the groom and how you can prepare. The first thing that I recommend is that you would pray. Pray for your bride. Pray for your wedding day, that things go well. Just pray for her that she might be able to just enjoy the day, that she might become the best wife possible. And then pray for yourself as well. Pray that you might be able to be the best groom, that you might be the best possible husband that God can make you to be. And then pray for all your guests as well, that they might be able to make it there safely. And for all of the people that are involved in the wedding day, just to make it go as smooth as possible. And then our next suggestion would be to get your suit tailored well in advance. We're talking like probably three months or so in advance because you want to make sure you try it on at least a couple times after it's been tailored too to make sure it's just right. Um, so take your suit, find a nice professional tailor that can fit you well, go in, have that suit tailored, come back, have second adjustments just to make sure everything is fine-tuned, and then make sure a month before the wedding you try it on one more time, just in case you've lost a little weight or you've gained a little weight. You wanna make sure it still fits perfectly for your wedding day. That's going to hold true too for your groomsmen as well. You're going to want to make sure that they are also checking in or check in with them so that they look good as well. So make sure that their suits are tailored and that they don't show up with a jacket that's you know four sizes too big or four mm -hmm. sizes too small. You wouldn't want to see that either. And you're not alone. Your bride is definitely getting her dress tailored and she's doing a multiple fittings over like an entire year. So don't feel like, oh man, I'm the only one doing this. I'm really pre prepping or something. That's not the case. Having a nice tailored suit um, does wonders, not only for how you feel and look about yourself on your wedding day, but also how your photos turn out. And when you look back on those photos, you'll enjoy them a lot more if you have a nice tailored suit. So the third thing that we would recommend is to prepare a memorable moment. And what I mean by that is to prepare something for um, your, your groomsmen to be able to do together either you know, on, on the day of. So maybe you wanna actually write a little toast to them and that you can share a toast. And not just, just cheersing and saying cheers, thanks for coming, uh, but actually write something memorable for them, for each individual one, whether you have five or you have two or you have 10 groomsmen, write something that you would be able to share with them as a thanks for them being there because they took the time to actually come and be part of your wedding as well. Maybe prepare something for them to do on the day before the wedding, not necessarily to interfere with the rehearsal, but maybe you wanna go hunting, or maybe you wanna go for a good hike with all of them, or maybe you wanna go play golf with all of them, or you wanna just go jeep and uh, prepare something to be able to actually do with the guys, because we as guys, we like to do stuff. And then the last thing that I would say is write a letter for your bride. Uh, maybe actually take some time to, to write down your thoughts and just and what's going through your heart at that moment just as you prepare and anticipate the day and the excitement, the nerves, whatever it might be, uh, just share those things and get those things out so that she can be able to read those things on the day of and you would give that letter to her on the day of. And if you'd like more of these tips, make sure you hit subscribe so that way you get a little wee notification every time one comes out. So until next time, God bless.